Hey everyone, Simon here from Aquabatics Calgary. Thanks so much for checking out our online whitewater kayak skills video series. Today we're here at the beautiful Kananaskis River looking at how to do a loop. There are loads of how to loop videos on the web. This one differs a bit as it tries to break the loop down into five more easily practiced components. The five components we focus on when teaching the loop are as follows. One, the setup. Two, the plug. Three, the stomp. Four, the jump. And five, the finish. What we have found the most success with is doing this systematically. Dial in part one before adding part two into the mix and so on. Before being able to perform a loop, you need to have great boat control in the feature you are using. There are multiple ways of setting up, but one way or another, you need to get yourself lined up to the current pointing upstream, ideally somewhere high-ish on the foam pile. For this video's purpose, you can use a basic flat spin or a simple lift of the upstream edge combined with a downstream draw stroke. Before moving on to step two, you want to make sure you can consistently line up upstream, say nine times out of ten. The plug. This is where we engage the bow in the green water. Where and how this is done varies based on speed of the water and depth of the feature. The feature we are using on the Kananaskis River is pretty shallow, so in this instance we are trying to gently engage the bow in the green water, which starts to bring the boat vertical. Practice this until you are consistently landing on your head, but with the boat still lined up with the upstream green water. The stomp. Here is where we start to get some airtime. Once the boat starts to come vertical, we want to stand up on the foot pegs and bring our body upright. It is important not to twist during this stage. The purpose of this is to get the boat to load up the volume as it goes deep into the green water, which will release and get us into the air. It is important to not twist during this stage. Focus on trying to get the bow as deep as possible and to keep your shoulders lined up with the current. You can look upstream at a fixed point like a tree or something to help with this. Continue practicing this until you are getting some mad pop outs, staying vertical and lined up with the green water. The jump. At stage four, we're nearly there. This is all about timing and keeping your body square to the current. As your body nears the peak of the stomp stage, you want to start to throw your weight forwards and up. At the same time, think about sucking your hips towards the sky. This will increase the height of the loop and give you A, more time to complete it, and B, a bit more wow factor. One of the biggest errors we see at this stage is paddlers twisting. Try and keep everything straight. The finish. To finish the loop off, we have to again focus on timing. As the boat comes over our head, we want to now throw our feet away from our hips towards the upstream green water. This will give the appearance of leaning back with the feet accelerating upstream. The most common mistakes we see at this stage is just mistiming or twisting at the hips. And that's that, the loop broken down into five digestible and easily isolated pieces. We really hope it makes sense and helps you get airborne and looping at your local play hole and beyond. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you and feel free to leave a note in the comments section below. To get more great instructional videos like this, don't forget to click subscribe or check us out at aquabaticscalgary.com.